I forgot to move my microphone. Hold on, give me a second here. We'll just move this over here. Just, just out of frame. There we go. That's perfect. How are you all doing today? Hope you're doing great. I just need to get you guys over here as well so I can actually see the chat. What you guys are saying. It makes it a little bit more fun if I can if I can read the chat as well. And sorry for the bit hectic start today. Uh if I see my little all over the place, but 20 minutes before the live stream started. Um my internet decided to die. <laughs> I was like, oh that's perfect timing, isn't it? So you know you all the usual you you crack out the, the cable testing tool and you power up a laptop that has an RJ45 socket on it and you get a spare cable and you begin to 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 clear furniture around so you can get access to all your different because I have multiple uh like I have multiple switches between me and the uh, and, and the router and all this. So I begin to you know clear everything out, begin to get ready to actually test everything. And then, then it, it just started working again without me doing anything. And it wasn't it wasn't my ISP. I know it wasn't my ISP. I know it was something inside the like internally in the apartment because I lost connection to my server as well, which is obviously on my local network. And it was both PCs at the same time. So it wasn't a PC issue. It was an ISP issue. So it was something with the cabling between here and the the main like switch area at the other end of the department. But anyway, just wanted to say everybody putting bodies in chat. No, I don't think we can blame the bodies on this one. I just wanted to say if I uh, if I suddenly disappear in the middle of the live stream, then you know why. It's because then instant decides to die. I haven't actually checked. I should probably do that. Let's just go and check this real quick here. Um, because sometimes I had this year for the longest time, and it's really weird. And I'll take you guys with me. We'll go back and do the intro here again in a second here. I just want to go and check my network, network and sharing center, change adapter sharing saint. Nope, that's not it. It is adapter settings. Here we go. Status. One gigabit. That's fine. Sometimes that will show as um as a hundred megabit my connection um and i finally found it the problem i had that for years where i had one of the cables i crimped my old cables and i have swapped two of the uh, two of the cables around so it weren't a parallel cable and and that was just causing all kinds of issues sometimes it was gigabit sometimes it wasn't i don't know but seems to be fine now we'll, we'll see if uh, if this works I want to jump back to oh not that camera that camera right there. Netgear switches. Um no, I think most of it is D-Link, actually. I don't know. Yeah, it, it wasn't a crossover cable because it was everything was parallel apart from two faces, which was just flipped. So it wasn't like a, a True crossover. So I don't know. Yeah, I, I've had I've had some decent um, I've had decent experience with D Links uh, equipment. They, it's been it's been okay. It's it's definitely not like top tier network equipment, but I think you get a lot of bang for the buck. With, with if you just want like I need a dumb switch, there you. Go. I don't need anything fancy. Don't need like a router, all kinds of fancy features. I just need a dumb switch. The link seems to be fine. Exactly, like most of the stuff. If you just, it's really hard to mess up a dumb switch. To be honest, <laughs> it's it's rarely those that fails. <laughs> How do we get the serious permit? Um, you get very, very friendly with the serious corporation. Anyway, 
as you can probably guess from the name of the live stream, today is exploration day. I imagine, I know we did it last week as well. And I basically hello day. I really have that exploration urge lately. I just really want to go out and and I like, watch some stars and find some cool stuff. Um, last time we were specifically hunting for high mass code systems, looking for uh, for black holes, and I even managed to find some undiscovered black holes to get my name on. That's cool. Um, <laughs> Warren Steen says you're a network engineer by trade. Oh, cool. I think we have. I don't think. Dongle is, is, I don't think by, by, by trade, but I, I have Dongle as well, who's also very much into networking. So I have, uh, I have plenty of networking uh, gurus to, uh, to reach out to, it seems. But so far, gigabit internet everywhere. Everything is shielded Cat6 cable, so it, uh, it should be fine for now. Um, you are Lone Tech is excited for LEGO 21332. Now, you must excuse me for not knowing my uh, Lego codes chosen by, by heart. <laughs> I have to go and look it up. I can't find that Lego code. I get like a, a pirate ship. I don't assume that's it. Yeah, sorry. We um, I'm also I'm reading. I'm reading both the Twitch and the YouTube comments. So there's like two sides of a of the chat. People on Twitch as like being confused about the be about the chat. Yeah, exactly. It's been speech to Hey. Okay, it's just not showing on oh, um, the globe. Oh, here it is. Ooh. Like, not a, not a sponsor or anything, but... That's actually pretty. I kind of like that. <laughs> that's, that's actually a, a pretty neat set. Expensive, yeah. Lego sets are expensive. I like it. It's a pretty cool one. Also interesting, try to make a globe out of Legos, which is like very square. <laughs> Do you have any raw material guides post Odyssey? That's interesting you, you ask, um, because one of the reasons why... I decided to go and do exploration is also um, because my main character is, is actually on its way out in the fleet carrier to uh, back out to the crystal shafts because they're going to go out and test uh, a theory I have with um, with Odyssey. And if we can maybe still farm them, I'm going to go out and check that uh, if, if, if my theory is correct. And if it is, there will of course be a video about it. So to answer your question, no, I do not have a guide, but... I am working on one, and if if my theory works, then there will be a guide. If my theory doesn't work, then I will have to try and come up with something else. Um, Lego Dolphin still there? Yeah, yeah, it's right here. It's just hiding behind me. There. It's right sitting right here. Lego Dolphin. There it is. Look at that. A little bit more dusty than last time, since it's been on display, but... I should probably put it up like there. That's where it usually goes.
No, I haven't. I haven't added a paint job to it yet. It's it's still just the Lego, uh, the Lego one. I I I think I'm gonna keep it like that. <laughs> the true Bulgarian. How am I today? I'm doing great. Thank you. It is really neat. I love it. That's a nice little, nice little. Maybe if I ever decide, I'm not really good with this with the Odyssey display. Everything is dry and dying, and I'm really bad with plants. So maybe that Odyssey display there, that side, is gonna go at some point. Then I can take the Lego stuff and move that out closer to the wall, so it's a little bit easier to see doing live streams and stuff like that. Um. Yeah, <laughs> well spotted. So the, the the display for the for the Corvette here in the background is actually designed for the Saturn V over there. Um, but since I have the sand inverted, I have them in spare. And and this one, which is also a theme, this was also a um, it was like a promotional piece from Frontier. But it doesn't really show very well. I was hoping the back lid of it would would look. I don't know if if you guys can see this. Look at that. It's a blueprint for the scarab on like acrylic, and then it has feet. But when you put it back there, the backlit backlight from the from the shelf just completely blows it out, so you can't see it at all. Um, but it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool display piece, and. I kind of wanted to... I really hope it was easier to see back there, but yeah. Race of Firefly. Thanks a lot for becoming a Patreon. That's awesome, dude. Yeah, a piece of black cloth behind it would probably do it. I actually have... Oh, that's in the other room. I don't want to go and get that now. Yeah, it, and it would probably need to be edge light to be to work properly. I think you guys are right. Uh, is it? Is it? Yeah. So, no, it's not. Like I can feel. I'm not sure if it's etched into it. I can feel when you when you like run your hand over it. You can feel where the the where it is. So I'm not sure if it's something that's like stick onto. I feel like if I scratch this enough. That I could eventually scratch it off. So I don't know if it's just like a sticker that's on top or if it's actually etched into it. That's a little hard. That's a really, really hard for me to, to judge. Can I get the light to bounce off it just right here? Where is the light? There. There's a little smush on it there. No, that's not smush. That's actually a, a little diagram. I don't know if that works with the lights on it, but yeah, I don't know. It most likely is laser etched. Okay, I don't know. But let's go and uh, <laughs> we can also just play play what's on Astro's shelf today <laughs> instead of going exploring. You just pick out everything. Which reminds me, what is going on here? All my planets are all over the place. And my moon, we've seen this. Now, now I'm just going to play what's on my shelf. Look at this. I have moon. It's a, it's a, it's a plastic moon and it's solid all the way through. It's really, really heavy. Next Lego build stream when? I don't know. When I figure out what I want to build. Yeah, exactly. Moon, like with, with a U. Do you have a Pluto miniature? Yes, I do. Look at that. Uh, where's the heart thingy on it? I can't remember. No, there. Pluto. A little Pluto. Yes. Also very, very pricey. The moon thingy. Did I miss a message? Probably sorry if I did. Uh, first time you joined the stream. Um, you don't know this, but my Python mining build has helped me a bunch. Thank you. You are very welcome. And welcome to the stream.
Yeah, I found a thank you loan tech. <laughs> okay. Um, let's let's do all our, our, our diligence and then let's go and uh, and fly some spaceships and find some planets and stuff. Um, what do you guys think? Um, one fifty. Back to games. Yes, exactly. I think we should do one fifty. Everybody's always like 200. Okay, right, let's go 203 then. Uh, it's, it's, I think it's a little high, especially for an exploration stream, but let's go 203 today. I should make, we should, Donald, we should figure out to make like a script where people can post the numbers in chat and then it will average them out. Apart from the fact that people will break it and post like a gazillion number and then, then everything will break or something like that. Let's go 203, see how far we get. So business as usual, if we get up to 203 likes today, um, I'll be setting up a discount code for you guys over on the merch store where you can get yourself hoodies and t-shirts and smocks and stuff like that, including the always popular, which is my mug of choice today, Remember Your Limpage Mug with a big exclamation mark comes in yellow and red. And then when you're sitting there, you're on your way out and you're doing your mining and everybody who does mining will have done this. And if you haven't done it, you haven't done enough mining yet. So you're sitting here with your mark and 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 you're looking at it and you have this big warning sign in your face saying limpets, guys. We usually don't set a dislike goal. Okay, let's jump in game and business as usual. I'm going to actually go and use that corner there today because then I don't don't mess up any interfaces here. Okay. I'm heading out towards Dire Awesomes, which should be here. Come on. Um... How far are we away? 5,000. We're actually getting pretty close. So I think what I'll do today is I will change up my map mode slightly. Like so. Wait for it to plot. There we go. Oh, did I not apply that to fill to route? I did not. Let's try that again. See if that worked better. That's better. There we go. Um, hold on, I missed something over there on uh, on Twitch. Let me just go and open, close that, close that, close that. Fine, Twitch. Glad to finally make it to the stream. Love your videos. Thank you very much and uh, and welcome. Just like so, so I have a little bit more Twitch chat. And there we go. How many jumps do I have, have left for Die Awesome? 91 jumps. That's gotta be no time at all. Four, three, two, one. Garden, you're very welcome. And welcome to the stream. So what, I, what I've done with my route now is I've been routing through primarily G and F type styles to try and optimize. So today, instead of looking for black holes, I want to look for more Earth-like water worlds, those kind of things. So I'm kind of trying to optimize those kind of planets since it should give me a higher chance to find those types. So here we have nothing. I think that's over there. Oh, that is 
That's a water world. You see? First jump, and we got a water world, I think. It's right on the edge, but I think it's in the water world. What was your first ship to go out to Colonia? Um... I don't remember. I think maybe Anaconda. The first ship I ever went out that distance was an Asp Explorer, but that was before Colonia was there. There was no Colonia back then. Yes, we can do that dongle between jumps. That's a good idea. Um, not cargo scoop. Okay, let's go ahead and let's get this system scanned. We only have 26 planets, so it shouldn't be too bad. Let's see if I can find anything here. Oh, we also have a C and a B star, which is a little unfortunate. Oh, there was. Oh, there's two of them. Look at that. There's still a signal. So there is more than one. Oh, what was that? Uh, oh, biologicals. Okay. D2 has biologicals. It's also 13,000 light seconds away. More, there's lots of biologicals out here. It seems. So if we're looking for plants, then we definitely found it. Look at that, they all just have biologicals. Everything is alive out here. Not that one. What is going on here? Whole thing is rotating. metal content with biologicals on it that could be a good indication that maybe it's terraformable This system seems to be a bit of a mess. Like, everything is everywhere. And we have some geologicals. Two more objects. One of them being a water world. One more object. That is the water world. There it is. Oh, that's pretty. That's a very high mass, a high land mass volume water world okay let's get out of fss and uh let's open up the system map let's figure out what we're gonna do here look at this okay just gonna check all these Oh, hello. James, also super awesome becoming a Patreon. I don't know if you're in chat, but if you are, thanks a lot. Now 
That should be our first target. Okay, put that on autopilot. What am I looking for when checking those? Um, so, when I'm checking these planets here, um, I'm checking that they are high metal content, it says here at the beginning, and then you see this blank line here. I'm looking for if any of them say that they are a candidate for terraforming. So look at this one. This body is the candidate for terraforming. There you go. There's a planet here we need to, uh, to go and actually scan. Not only that, not only is it a candidate for terraforming, it has an atmosphere and it's landable. Which is interesting. So... So that one is very interesting too. Gotta have to go there. Yeah, definitely gonna go and get first footfall there. But we're just gonna map this uh, this water world first. And if we're lucky, it was also a belief on the B star. I think that was one of those that also had. Um, had some biological lives on it. We can maybe go and find some plants. Resubscribe. I love your channel. Keep up the good work. Thanks a lot. Welcome on board. No, too fast. Slow us down. I don't want to go too far as with that gravity well. Okay. Let's see here. Six probes, so that should be a pretty straightforward pattern here. There we go. Polar caps too. Oh yeah, I did. Oh, yeah, it did. It. Oh, cool. Surface scanned by fifty percent. Surface scan complete. Surface scan complete. Thank you very much. Next target. That one there, I believe. To just check the rest of these planets here. Okay, look at that one. So that was number five here. That is a terraformable. That one is terraformable with an atmosphere and landable. Seven is not terraformable. Eight is terraformable. Then we have a, a water world. And then we probably have a nice planet out here. Nope, also high metal content. But we had two more candidates for terraforming. Hey, we got a bit of this to cover. And I can just set that in autopilot like so. Yeah, there could be some potential for some really cool views too. Um, but while we are flying, I just want to tell you guys about Project Greenfield. I don't know. For those who are watching Hello Day, you will probably know what Project Greenfield is. But for those who don't watch Hello Day, you maybe are not familiar with Project Greenfield. If that is the case, I'm going to tell you about it on my way here. Because it's a rather exciting project. So, if we take it from the way, like early beginning here. We have a faction in-game called Terra-X Astro Corp. This is a player faction in-game that we play the BTS that we have done so for years. Now, there is a problem with BTS at the moment. And that is that after Odyssey, it has become increasingly difficult to be an Anarchy faction. And it's become incredibly difficult to become an, be an Anarchy faction because... The best way to farm materials in Odyssey is to go and murder anarchy factions. So because everybody's murdering anarchy, anarchy people, it's difficult to exist as an anarchy faction because all your civilians get murdered all the time and looted. So 
that means that there, there over time will be fewer and fewer anarchy factions and that means that when odyssey eventually releases for console we could actually end up in a situation where there are next to no anarchy factions or anarchy owned settlements left in the bubble that's a problem um I, 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 a big problem i think um so what we've done is we terra x we have teamed up with a faction called the code the code is a um, mainly a pvp group but they are also a bts group they have a, a faction game called the code and they are an anarchy faction and we teamed up with them and they have a system called Orare. you might know it from what it being the system with a crashed anaconda in it now that system have another anarchy faction called Orare ring and our plan is we have found some clever bts methods that we think will work where we are going to take a rare and we're going to manipulate the background simulation in that system in such a way that all the odyssey settlements is going to be transferred over to a rare ring and after that we are going to make sure code stays in control of the system so the system will stay as an anarchist system but the rare ring with all the odyssey settlements is just going to be dumped down to one percent influence and if we do that um then we should be able to lock the system in a uh, in a like a permanent um hopefully permanent state so the problem with this is it requires a lot of manpower to do because this is not something two people can do this is something that requires a lot of people and a lot of people who are who really want to help the project over an extended period of time and that's why we are running it out of our Discord server together with our normal BTS for Terrax Astrocorp. So if you are interested in helping out building this farming heaven, essentially what we're trying to do, so we don't boil it down, is we're trying to build like the ultimate farming spot in Elite for Odyssey materials. Um, and if it works and if we are successful, we should have ourselves a really, really cool, cool place smack in the middle of the bubble where you can just go and you can farm odyssey materials to your heart's content um and and if it works we're gonna make an array two somewhere and we're gonna make multiple of these systems scattered around so that there is uh, options to go to some, some different places to go and just make these perfect farming spots and then try to lock them into those states um but again if you want to help there is a link on, in chat for our discord it's a discord.d2ea.com if you go there then um, what prevents a troll group from messing up the system BGS afterwards? See, very good question. So now we get into a little technical BGS stuff here, but you cannot have so many. So in order to transfer, no, there is actually something we have thought about this. Um, in order to transfer a settlement from one faction to another, you have to get that faction into a conflict. So that would be election, civil war, or war. Okay. Now, you cannot get into a conflict if, you influ if your influence is less than 7%. So, that means as long as you are lower than 7%, it is impossible for you to get into a conflict. And since it's a native faction, they cannot be retreated out of the system. That means as long as a native faction is under 7%, they are basically frozen until they get pushed up over 7%. Um, so our plan is that once we have transferred all those settlements over to a rare ring and we then dump the influence down below that seven percent mark and we then go out and and publicly push and say guys we have built the perfect farming system come here everybody come to a rare and farm all your odyssey materials then if anybody wants to try and push a rare ring up above um above those seven percent they're gonna be fighting against the entire elite community everybody who goes there and farms those settlements is going to inflict negative influence towards a rare ring pushing them downwards keeping them low and if anybody tries to go in and and counter it they're gonna have to fight against hopefully thousands of players who comes in and farm this system day out and day in to get their uh, to get the odyssey materials making even though uh, even though rare is a small system small population so it doesn't take much to move the sheer number that's what we hope at least that the sheer number of people who will at that point be in the system um 
should be able to basically, as long as you farm it, you help stabilize it. Simple as that. Oh, well, that's not simple. It, hopefully it works. That's <laughs> it. Should we put it like that? I, I should really say that this is, is very much uncharted territory for us. Okay, let's see what... This is actually... I really like this, like, reddish surface and then the very thin, bluish atmosphere. I hate Duchess Edusium. Surface scanned by 50%. Have I been out to Ashes of Servitor lately? Surface no, I have not. I thought that was something on the surface there, but it seems... So there's no plant life on this one. Um... And you can see here nothing on the surface either. So I'm just gonna go down just to get first footfall on it. But uh, is anything going on out of the Astros Observatory? I haven't been there lately. It's been a while at least. I think I want to go down here and just... Uh, the side of that crater, as it seems, we're gonna have a lot of mountains, and it should be pretty, pretty nice view from there. It's probably gonna be difficult to land in the mountains. Maybe I should go over to the flat area there instead, where I can actually get the ship down. Andrew, the middle system. I assume there's still plenty of systems that haven't been touched. We have not even reached a... Not even 1%. We're not even close to 1% of the galaxy discovered. So, yes. <laughs> there are... Hundreds of billions of star systems that nobody has ever seen. So, yeah. There... You, you have plenty of stuff to go and find. I don't even know if this system has been discovered by any one of them. Am, am I the first year? Yeah, I'm the first year. Nobody's been here before. My system. Oh, okay, we have, we have 0 0.02 percent discovered. Great. Okay, so yeah. Lenses overland. New to channel. Really been enjoying it. Thanks a lot. And landing gear. Sure. Seems to oh. like the sand dunes here. Here we go. Do I s <laughs> okay, that's the leadership ass. Okay, that's some conspiracy theories here. Um 
Do you think the new Colonial Bridge secretly intended to be used as an evacuation route because there's going to be a big Thargoid invasion? No. I don't think Frontier will burn the bubble. Because then if, they are, if they're going to do that, they're going to have to establish a new player zone in Colonia. And also if they burn the bubble, you're going to have a very large BGS community that's going to be very pissed. <laughs> Because they're all going to be basically just kicked out of their home systems. I, I don't think they're going to burn the bubble. I think the purpose of the Colonia Bridge is to allow on-foot players, so people who want to play on-foot only, don't want to go there by a spaceship, to reach Colonia. So that means they're going to have to put the ship so close that you can um, can Apex shuttle between the, um, between the stations. Yeah, I, I, I think so too. I think... Um, Mitch Black also says that the BGS and the power play communities, they would, I mean, oh my God, <laughs> I, would, oh, I would be tired if, 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 if they did that. I don't think they will. You just burn a little bit, just a corner, just, you know, just the edge. <laughs> but yeah. Pretty planet. I like the new lighting changes from just done. I... The light now matches the atmosphere. Apex to Colonia would take a lifetime. Yeah. Unless they're making some faster Apex shuttles with longer jump range. Then they could they could introduce like Apex shuttles now in Asp Explorers or Asp Scouts or something like that. Where instead of them jumping, what is it, 20 light years or something per jump, they can now jump I don't know, 60 or something, and then they can maybe go up to 500 light years between uh, between stops or something, just to make the trip a little bit more bearable. What is Apex and how does it work? Apex is basically an NPC ship you hire that then flies you to some place. Are there going to be Apex shuttles to fleet carriers when fleet carriers' interiors arrive? I don't know. I don't think so, but I don't know. Okay. That is done. Let's go. And... Full throttle. Landing gear. Landing gear. Up. Next stop, that one, which was another atmospheric and landable high metal content terraformable planet. Very, very pretty. It's gonna go there. see so many players using that ship why is it so special it's a good ship the crate mark 2 and the crate phantom are good ships Lighting landables. Hmm. Greetings from Poland. Hello and welcome. 
Lights about every eight days. Oh, nice. Trait like in fight. So you say he's put on kite? I'm pretty sure it's a crate fat, not a crate fat. Okay, so there we have this one. We have two moons close to each other. Um, hopefully, we get a good view from here. Didn't check how close they were orbiting. Jesus, that gravity will. Hmm. Come on. Okay, while we're trying to go full speed out of our gravity well here, let's just have to sit and push the throttle. Oh, there we go. Now we are. <laughs> Does EDSM send journal files to, to other databases? Yeah, I think it's all connected, basically. <laughs> yeah, honk. Honk, 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 honk. Honk, 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 honk. Yes, it does. I believe they are all interconnected. It's all part of the Elite Dangerous Data Network. Oh, yeah, apparently there's a checkbox you have to set. Now, so this is one planet. Now, where's the other? What was the other one? Just want to see where that is. Oh, okay. That's all the way over there. Not even close. Six probes. Should be easy enough. Surface scanned by fifty per cent. Surface scan complete. Ooh. Hmm, where did I put those swapping? Oh, there's only one biological. Okay, so there's only bacteria. So, don't necessarily want to go there for that. I mean, if we find some, sure. But bacteria is not boring. But why not? Let's just go and find anything. Like, see if we can find something. And scan it. I mean, why not? Orbital flight engaged. Uh, let me see where we're gonna. We're gonna put it down like this area here. That should be fine.
nothing else east to land here. Oh yeah, look at that. They're everywhere here. See those patches there? That's the stuff we're looking for. Landing gear deployed. Just gonna take the SRD with me so I can actually move around. Hold on, how do I put steering here? There we go, that's it. Look at that, now I contaminated it, driving on top of it. Drop a cargo scooter seven away. Oh, look at the stars in the window. Fight more of it. Oh, some over there. Is there any info about new new update when released or something like that? No, Frontier has just been there's gonna be an up there, there, there's gonna be a update at some point. But there has been no communication from Frontier at all since Christmas or something like that. So it's been pretty silent. Like obviously it's expected for them to, to not come out with the information over Christmas, but I mean, I've been here before. I can see my own tracks here.
How far are we exploring today? Um, uh, from the bubble, I think we are 26, 27,000 or something. Not that far from Colonia. Can I find more of this stuff, please? I had more locked down in the flat areas. Let's try to go back out that way. Oh, there's a patch. Does he have a, have he's got a pick up bicycle signatures? I don't believe it does, no. I might have gotten too far away from my ship. I think I did. Ship hey, rolling down the hill. Drew all over the patch. Yeah, doesn't matter. Still look massive stars and just casually exploring. We're just casually exploring today. We're more focused around water worlds and those kind of things today rather than uh, than heavy stars. So far I made one jump and we are an hour into the live stream. That one was also <laughs> that that's the third planet in the system with an atmosphere landable that's a pretty atmosphere look at that frame shift drive charging Four, three, and 19 hours two, to go yeah assuming we find systems this dense with planets we want to actually look at Yeah, it is a pretty rich system. There was a lot here. We had two water worlds and multiple terraformables and and even some that I actually want to go down and land on and scan for biologicals. And so there was there was a lot. That's my autopilot. There it is. Ah, it's not bad distance wise, but we have this gravity well we need to escape first.
Yeah, love getting first foot of Paul on Turbo Blasted Wills. Yep, exactly. <laughs> what are you doing, Dunkle? You're setting up uh, auto ban for all the uh, all the Russian spam bots. <laughs> Have they fixed the codex in Odyssey? I don't think. I don't use the codex that often, but I still think there is some, some bugs with it. Psychopathic cake. <laughs> What's up? Yeah, that's fine, Uncle. You, you just play around with it. Just don't... Just, yeah. Be, be, be careful with the bad word list. We don't want to just the bot to go, go mayhem and auto-ban everybody in chat. <laughs> that would be bad. Oh, oh, we're shooting here. Why does the stars look like that? Because I'm very, very far away from, uh, from where you are, likely. And most noticeably, probably because I'm a lot closer to the center of the galaxy. I'll just slow us down and I can show you where I am. We're here. There's Colonia. There's the bubble. There's Sagay. So about a third of the way between bubble and Sagay. Heading up there. Yeah, yeah. Add add uh, dot dot asterisk to uh, to the regex ban. That that will that will work. <laughs> so because I'm so close to the bubble, the star density in, is a lot higher in here. That's why it looks like this. Yeah, the bubble is ugly. The bubble is just well, a little boring, maybe. Okay, let's go and scan this bad boy. Oh, that was a bit of a we're be fine. Just gonna overshoot a little bit on the other ones then to compensate. Shield generator percentage how? Um Odyssey. Surface scan complete. More bacteria. Yeah. Just more bacteria. It's a bit of a shame, isn't it? Always the same. But okay, let's go and see if it's if it's just the same. I don't want to say I want to scan that. Let's just go and go down to the surface and see what we find. Just because I need first footfall. Oh, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult, I think, on this one to find a good place to land. It's not. Orbital flight engaged. There's a patch here up ahead. We're gonna put it down that patch over there. We're gonna come in a little hot here. So it's gonna be a bit of an aggressive uh, aggressive approach. It might be too aggressive, but we'll see if we can actually manage to get it into a glide. I think we're good. Yeah, we're good for glide. Can you automate an Audi? Um, I think if you have the advanced auto computer, Chief, thanks a lot for the super chat saying preparing for a long-term venture into the black. Looking forward to many more exploration streams when I'm out there. P.S. Put this in the Lego font. 
thank you. I will. Ooh, look at this. We got... Is that canyons? It looks like a very deep canyon. Or a very steep cliff, maybe? Oh, look at all the... All the bacteria here. That is a canyon. Gravity is a little higher. It's not that deep, but it is a canyon. It's a very pronounced canyon. But it's just more bacteria like that, so I'm not gonna go and necessarily scan all of it. Because it's just more of the same. Um, oh, stop. <laughs> Wrong button. There we go. That was my landing gear. Landing gear deployed. Flat over here, just go over here. I know there was some few spots there, but oh, there's something here. Come on. Where are you? Footfall confirmed. Nice. Okay, as I said, don't necessarily want to scan it. We can go take a look at it, see if there's anything special about it. If not, eh, we're just going to move on to the next. We have plenty of stuff we need to scan here. Looks. Oh, hold on. I can't do this. This is the, uh, this is Star Citizen. You can zoom in, but you can just... I still, like, press F and scroll, which in Star Citizen is, is like, zooming in to interact with stuff, but... Doesn't work in Elite. Yeah, you've seen one green bacteria patch, you kinda seen them all. Psycho cake, yeah I have. It's been a been a decent year so far. Already got some uh managed to get some traveling doing. So I went to Iceland, it was awesome. Speed ahead, then gear up while we figure out our next target. Oh, right, yeah, okay. We should probably go into do the water world. Should just check these down here. Hold on, on that one. Candidate for terraforming. And now we are to the ice planets. So there was another candidate for terraforming here, which is also. <laughs> Which is also landable with an atmosphere, and this one is not tightly locked. As you can see, because the model is... If it would load... Jesus, come on, Frontier. Let's go. Can swing around the system map since when? I think since since a very long time ago. I don't think it's a new feature. Oh right, escape vector.
You just need to go, I think it's under this, it's the same settings as, as the gravity, as a, a galaxy map, and you just need to set your, um, your pan and, uh, pan and tilt. Oh, well, don't, don't be sorry for your English grammar. I'm not, done, I'm not a na native English speaker anyway, so I probably wouldn't notice. My grammar sucks, so <laughs> don't worry about it. You can't in Horizons. Okay, then it must be, right? At least Odyssey will Odyssey knew. So we have two planets. There was a lot of planets. How many did we end up scanning in this system? We had the two water worlds and we have like was it three terraformables here? So that's five. And then one down here is four terraformables and two water worlds. What do I do for a living? I write code. I work in a, at a in a pension fund, and I uh, I make all their IT infrastructure, and I uh, I help build all the all the infrastructure around um, portfolio managing. So there's a bunch of of portfolio managers that does all the trading. And my job is to make sure that we have all the databases and we have all the, the, the batch jobs that runs every day and, and all the um, like dashboards and, and, and all that stuff is being killed. No, no, Dongle. Um, actually, this uh, I, I swapped job now. It's now it's uh, Python. Now, now everything is Python. And a little bit of PowerShell now and then if we need to do server management stuff because you don't want to do server management stuff in in, in python you want to do that in powershell but for for data for data handling it's python you don't you don't you don't want to do data handling in in in, in powershell you can but ugh. do you usually talk to co-workers in in English or Danish or a mix. Um, current place of work usually Danish. My last place of work usually English. But the last place was mainly because we were a mixed team uh, where half of us was Danish and the other half was Polish. So we had like everything was. I mean, if we, if we had to write any emails, if we have to in, in like pretty much all the meetings, we would always have people both from Denmark and from Poland. So just easier that we just always had everything in uh, in English. Um, so yeah, but current place of work, we don't have a, a, a offshore, um, any offshore teams. Why am I not moving? Maybe I should actually put some throttle into this. Um, so, so therefore it is, uh, it's, it's Danish. Uh, how much shield I have? Not a lot. And it's probably not even engineered or anything. 242. Um, Stephen Hawk, <laughs> Stephen Hawk, nice. Uh, asked, do you know when the next carrier trip? Uh, when, yeah, when the next carrier trip will be? Um, yes and no. Um, it's going to be relatively short, uh, shortly after Frontier introduces fleet carrier interiors. When that is, I don't know, but it's going to be relatively shortly after that. So, update 11. Yeah, exactly, Dunkle. What are we at? Are we update 9 now? Or are we 10? 9, right? We're at 9. I think we're at 9. I I lost count at some point. <laughs> but got over the Christmas occasion. 9, yes. Okay, so we're at update 9 right now. So then we're probably, I would assume, pretty soon, we're gonna get update 10. 
It's going to be a, a number of bug fixes, exactly as Falcon says. It's just going to be bug fixes uh, mainly. And update 11, which then probably is going to be, I was going to say, end February, start March, around that area. Then I'm expecting that's around where we're going to see the fleet carry update, which is update 11. Um, and then after that, I'm probably going to give it at least two weeks of prep time to give people, even though it's a short trip, um, I want to give people some time to, uh, to like, if they want to prepare or stuff like that. So, oh, you missed one dongle. The bot didn't catch it. Um, so about one or two weeks probably after, um, after update 11 has launched, I'm going to go and then we're going to do the carrier trip. Didn't they originally only plan four updates? Yeah, that was the original plan, but, you know... No plan ever survives first contact with the enemy, so, uh... uh. And I guess no release schedule ever survived first contact with the Elite Dangerous community, either. Um... Do not use Super Cruise Assist on my exploration team. All that's fine, that essential for exploration. Um, I probably should, but... I don't want to go back for that. Hope we are able to land on Earth like someday. That's... I'll promise you that's gonna be a while. Okay, last planet. Bit of a distance, so uh, full throttle in, autopilot, point us in the right direction, and now it flies itself. Ships need a two damn modular, not like in Star Citizen where they're roll locked. I guess depends what you like. I mean, that's always been the main difference between the the way they've been been building ships. That, like, you have the super modular ships where you can take a ship and make it into almost anything in Italy. Um, on Star Citizen, you have the more roll lock ship where a ship is purposely designed for one roll and one roll only. And I asked, that's a lot of stars. Are you close to the galactic center? Yes, I am. Not that close, but close-ish, I would say. Close enough. You're right, corner. The the more module, the higher modularity of ships means there are some more. You have more build freedom around the ships. Um, that's true, which I kind of like. How do you enable in order to see more stars in the sky? I mean, which options in the game? Um, there is no option in the game to enable more stars. The way you see more stars is you move closer to the galactic core. Do I explore for the possibility of breaking records on EDSM like the biggest planet, etc.? No, not at all. I explore because I, I like to find... That's uh, the little cool shots that you sometimes come across. The cool spots, the cool little little things that you find sometimes. That's why I do it. Not because I want to have my name on something. I, mean, I like to get my name on special things if we find them, but not the purpose. The purpose is just to go out and find some cool planets. And you know what I haven't done in this system? I haven't looked at the Aurora map.
bit weird, but I'll take it. A little bit off center. That's really weird, but okay. We're breaking that gap here right now. It's a big boy planet. Do I have VR? Um, used to, but I decided to take it down because I was never really using it anymore. Jump rate on the ship I'm using right now. Not superb. Oh, it was right here, wasn't it? Ah, uh, okay, it's actually okay. 60 light years. I wait for the features like caves, fauna and flora, storms, rains, snow, etc. I think that's gonna be uh, it's gonna be m many years before we see anything like that. Where do I plan on going with the carrier trip? I am planning to go out and take a look at um, some lightning clouds. Find some Lagrange cloud with some lightning in them and go and take a look at those because I really want to see those. Um, and I actually found a system, and I think, I think it is kind of in the same direction where you kind of gonna fly underneath Rackham's Peak. So I was considering to say gonna make it a two-stop trip. Maybe if if I could if if it fits with the trip, then what I might do is go to the lightning clouds and then go back in and then fly up to Rackham's Peak take a stop there for a day then fly back down and into the bubble because that's a nice weekend trip you know we fly out on a friday we land in the in the lightning clouds um friday evening we stay there till saturday saturday we fly up fly away from the lightning clouds up to rackham's peak stay there till sunday sunday we fly back to the bubble and you're good to go for monday i, I feel like that could be a nice weekend trip to do something like that um if i can make it work with the distances i haven't calculated that yet um, but if the distances are not too long, then we might do that. Yeah, but we're not uh, we're not going to be looking for it near Colonia. We're going to be looking for it near the bubble. Um. So I have some systems in mind and I have to look at those. How's the verbal set extension? It felt awesome to me and I can't imagine a session without I'm really loving it. I'm still rebuilding, I'm still doing some rebuilding on my on my setup, and I have it's annoying. I'm missing one component. It's not from Verbal, it's it's I'm missing a keyboard, and I got the keyboard, it's a wireless one that I wanted to use so I could put it out and have a little shelf to put it on when I'm playing. Um and then put it up on the table when I'm not playing, so I can use it as a normal keyboard then. Um, and it arrived, and then the cable wasn't included in the box, which makes it very difficult to charge a wireless keyboard without a cable. So, I sent it back, and now I'm waiting for the for a replacement to show up. I have half a video recorded about it, documenting the whole rebuild process of, of the cockpit here. But I can't finish it before that keyboard shows up, because I need to record the last section of it. But, set extension is awesome. I love it. Am I still using the rubber bands on the Verpool? No. I am not. The verbal stick has been repaired and is now fixed. And I'm gonna overshoot this one. I even have. I 
we should get this fight fight towards the planet again. I even have it here. Spare what spare joystick. <laughs> oh. Put that over there. Um next time it was for, it was on a previous live stream, the yaw. So when you have a joystick, I'll show you here. When you have your joystick, these um, constellation joysticks here for verbal, they have uh, they have twists, so you can twist them like this. They have a twist axis built into them, and the twist axis in the joystick I have here, you can't see it's out of screen, but the twist axis in one direction broke. So I make this I make this super elaborate contraption with rubber bands wrapped around it to kind of have a have a have that springiness because the axis was still working it was just the spring the return spring uh, was broken um so i just made this elaborate system with 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 rubber bands and, and all, all kinds of things and I, I it's in a previous live stream um where it's right at the beginning where the thing breaks and uh and yeah How much are those? Uh, I can't remember, but expensive, very expensive. But though the so the the joystick was sent out to, um, okay, so the the whole process when after the the joystick broke, I checked and it was still under warranty from Verbal. So I reached out to them to their warranty whatever, and said, "Hi, here's my order number. I have this stick." thing is broken doesn't work um and then i got first i got in contact with like first level support and all they really did was just to verify that i in fact um that the device in fact still was under warranty um so they just checked up on my on my um on my on my uh, shipping numbers and my order numbers and those kind of things and after they confirmed that in fact the stick was still under warranty they transferred me over to some technical staff and the technical staff then we then discussed i sent them some video showing what was wrong with the stick and they sent me back a video um where they showed the stick they had taken apart and they showed exactly what component inside it was broken and then they said you have two options either either you um you ship the stick to us and then we will fix it and send it back to you or we can ship the part to you that's broken and we can guide you through replacing it yourself. And they did say that the replacement would be a little complicated because you would have to take, first of all, the whole stick apart and there's a little assembly in here with the whole little twist mechanics. So basically this part of the stick, I can't see that for the camera. This part of the stick here is all the twist mechanic and that had to be taken apart to replace the spring and put back together. And they said it can be a little complicated so i opted for just shipping it to them um so they gave me the shipping label so i didn't have to pay for it they even had a courier come to my to my to my address to pick it up so I didn't even have to go anywhere so courier showed up gave him the package two weeks went by package was back with a fixed joystick it was very, very straightforward where's he from here he's going to even ask denmark Let's go back in game, actually. Whoop, there we go. Look at that. Um, I mapped the planet. And there's more bacteria. Always bacteria. But there's an ice cap. Which is kind of exciting. So I'm not really... I don't really care for the bacteria. We've seen enough green bacteria patches today, I think. But I kind of want to go to the ice caps. Can we, can we get that away so we can see... Oh yeah, look at this. This is the summer, the summer side of the planet. Absolutely, like. And the thing is, I I did not write to them. Um, I wrote to them as a normal customer. I didn't write to them as 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 a YouTuber or anything like that. Um, I just wrote to them and said, "Hey, here's my here's my order number. I I need this thing fixed." Um, and. Yeah, I would say that like the verbal customer service it was um yeah was really really good. I have uh, I have no complaints. I mean, I would also expect when you when you buy a premium device like this um 
you what you pay for is also the ability to have um to have the device repaired if anything happens and while mine was i mean if it expires if your warranty expires on it and the thing still breaks i'm pretty sure they would still repair it for you i don't know what it would cost you but i'm pretty sure they still would repair it and i still think because the, the equipment from purple is quite pricey i still think it would be worthwhile to actually have it repair rather than just replaced do you benefit most from me watching on youtube or twitch um i think youtube I mean, the live streams are not monetized, so I don't really get any money for it, and I'm not monetized on Twitch either, so I don't get any money over there either, so... It's not that I get any money regardless of where you watch, but for the pure algorithm, um, I think it's better you're on YouTube than Twitch, but really, I, whatever platform you like the most, watch it there. I'm streaming on both platforms because I want people to, um, to have the choice of picking the platform that they like. Twitch tube. Exactly. Come on. Okay, let's go out and have a snowball fight. You have two YouTubers. Yeah, that's right. So the so but pure algorithm wise. <laughs> Twitch ban, 3, 2, 1, yeah, <laughs> probably. And rather heavy on the, on the gravity here. Quite four. Snowball, what kind of Norwegian I am? I'm a very bad Norwegian, especially because I'm not from Norway. So that makes me a very bad Norwegian. Pew pew pew! Pew pew pew! Pew pew pew! Ship under attack. Uh -oh. Yeah, weather would be nice. <laughs> Suddenly, a giant ice will burst from the ground <laughs> from where you're shooting. Yeah. Bad Norwegian sounds like a rock band. I could, I could actually see like a. a, a <laughs> it's probably not brutal enough for like the the Norwegian death metal bands. They need to be called something like uh, Dark Mayhem or something like that. Bad Norwegian is like a softcore rock band <laughs> kind of thing. The Southern Sea is still the best Federation grind. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. It's consistent. Can I shoot myself in the foot? I don't think we have enough. Nope. Do planets collide if yet? If yes, under which circumstances? Beside collision of galaxies. Well, collision of galaxies, there's not really that many collisions happening there, since most of galaxies use empty space. Um, <laughs> yes, when they hit each other. Oh, God. <laughs> now, so, okay, do you mean, like, I assume you mean in real life, or do you mean in, in, uh, in Elite? What's my FPS here? Let's put up a FPS counter. That's actually, um... 
That's pretty good. Look at that. I'm getting getting 120 with a 99% low at around 110. And we are on an atmospheric planet now. And we are in 4K. Just, just look at this. We're playing 4K, borderless, and I actually limited the frame rate. We'll try to remove the uh, frame rate limiter, see what it can actually push. If you really just push it out, I don't know if it would go higher. Oh, it probably won't because I have that one on. Just disable that. There we go. Now it's fully unlocked. So you can see it will go up to like a hundred. Uh, this is uh, an NVIDIA counter. I, I put Alt-R as part of the NVIDIA experience. And you can turn that on. It's not an elite thing. It's from the NVIDIA control panel. So yeah, around a hundred and... Like, if I really move around, it goes down to 120. But... Running around like... like this it can go up there we go if i just look up at the stars look at this if we move away look at the planets there we are 180 frames per second what is the frame what is the benefit of limiting frame rates so one of the reasons i do it is there's two things in it first of all i want to have the frame rate i don't want the frame rate to go higher than my um um, then my monitor and my capture card is can can my capture card can only capture or is only set or you know, can only capture 4K 60. So, but there's no point in me to go up and spend uh, to 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 compute more frames than I can. Um, what's the frame limiter? Then my monitor can display because all that does is just generate more noise with the computer, which is annoying when you're recording. I want the computer to stay as quiet as possible. So I'm basically limiting it to whatever my monitor can uh, can handle. And then I don't want it to go higher because there's no reason for it to sit and push out in space like 250 frames a second and generate a lot of heat and noise when I'm trying to record. So it's it's also to try and keep the PC a little bit more quiet, a little colder. Um, so that I have less fan noise in the background doing my recordings. So I have a little bit less post-processing I have to do on my audio before it goes into videos. There's enough noise that needs to be removed already. So, yeah. Okay. That's a pretty uh, pretty little north-south pole. I don't know. But pretty it is. In space, no one can hear your fans. <laughs> That's true. Does that actually mean that we are done with this system now? I think it does. Body noises. Yeah, those are hard to edit out. Trust me, I have tried. the crit pattern jump further than the DBX and uh, no I think it's slightly less but close well next system in route we are actually done it only took us an hour and 45 minutes to find the player we, we did the talk quite a bit in the beginning so maybe like an, just over an hour I want to like 15 or 20 minutes or something like that for this one system It was a nice system. I like this system. Let's see if we're lucky in the next one as well.
Um, yeah, hold on. We're just gonna get to this. People want to see where we're at again. Let me just quickly get. Um... Actually, we do need, we need a bit of fuel, don't we? Twenty-one planets. Let's just quickly check. Nothing of interest in this system. So while we are fuel scooping, we can just go and take a look at the galaxy map. Come on. There you go. Any news on update 10? No. I was hoping Frontier would start live streaming this week again, but they haven't. There's been nothing coming from Frontier since New Year's. Actually, since before Christmas, when they did their Christmas live stream. Um, they've been very quiet. No, uh, no announcements on Twitter, No, nothing I've seen on the forums. Still no live streams. I really thought they were going to live stream this week, but seems not hope they're gonna take it up again next week Raxler might be there <laughs> yeah I'm not gonna stop just to fight Raxler do I ever stream on Twitch uh, yes I am right now <laughs> so so yes hello Twitch you can just go over to uh, Doubt with Astronomy on Twitch if you prefer to watch over there. And nothing in that system. Fritz <laughs> says, hello YouTube. Hello YouTube. <laughs> Four. Current jump range of the Phantom is just shy of 60 light years. Fuel 28 systems. Oh, we're that oh we're that close. Okay, we're gonna keep going a little bit then. I'm thinking. Uh okay, nothing. I just wanna get some distance going now. But while we are looking for um for the next system to stop in, um I just want to remind you guys that we do have a light goal during this live stream. We're actually very close to it. The light goal for today's live stream is 203 likes. If we get 203 likes, I'm going to set up a discount code. And that discount code is, for course, for the merch store, which you can find at d2eastore.com, where you can get yourself t-shirts and hoodies and uh, caps and beanies and mugs, like my mug today, which is the remember your limpets mark so that you will never ever forget your limpets again when you go out and mine oh and we reached the goal there we go thanks a lot so now we need while i'm looking for systems you guys can give me suggestions in chat what should the um what should the discount code be today What do you guys think? The bad nervous chin. <laughs> okay, I <laughs> doubt that. <laughs> Explorer Bacteria Elite. <laughs> the bad. The <laughs> Raxler Phantom Explorer X. More bacteria. <laughs> Bad the region. Thank you for the super chat saying congrats on meeting the light goal. Told you could could go two or three. Yeah, you're right. Bad the region. A lot of people seem to like bad the region. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna set that up for you guys. I uh, yeah yeah. It's it's gonna be bad no region. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Uh, if, especially if I could... What's going on? Stream PC? Why? Stream PC? Why are you broken? 
There we go. Stream PC is back alive. Let me just go in and get that thing set up for you guys. <laughs> uh, discounts, discounts. And... Hmm. There's a discount missing. Oh, I'll go and fix that later. <clears throat> this is a stream discount code for 10%. On any order with the discount code, it did not copy it. Why did it not copy it? Was that with the with the PC was just not responding? There we go. Bad Norwegian with ten percent, and it's gonna expire at the end of the live stream. That means you're gonna have until the end of the live stream to use the code Bad Norwegian to get ten percent off any order on the merch store. I'm just gonna post it in chat here. Oh, that was lowercase. It's supposed to be uppercase, but you probably get it. So yeah, thanks a lot for reaching the like goal. Let's, uh, did I, did I check this system? I did. Nothing here. Free Moving on. Drive charging. Did I misspell it, Norwegian? Four, three, I think it's... I hope it's right. Twitch says, I could have gotten limpets even drinking from that mark. Well, that is a feat in itself. Now, while we are exploring here, we're just waiting for, uh, just getting some distance behind us and uh, hopefully for for the next system. There, there it was. Hey, Tony from Norway, I can see. As for the badass, the region, if you ask me. Got noodle. <laughs> Ili <laughs> But look at this. I think we have another water world right there. I told you this was a good method for finding water worlds. Okay. Fuel scoop disengaged. Let me just get some distance to the star. I'm actually curious. I just have to check something. With my current settings, what kind of graphics can I get in space? If I just go in and disable the limiter and disable that. Put that up there. Give it some time to figure it out. 200. Two seventy, two eighty. And then it have some dips dips down to, to one eighty. Yeah, but there's no reason to have the graphic card just sit and and, and just pour out unused frames. So I'm going to limit it back to 200 and sick it. Nice. Okay, while I'm just getting some distance to the star so it doesn't take up as much of my field of view and I go ahead and disable my overlay, then I just want to tell you guys about another thing. Uh, let's just get scanning here. I can focus on both talking and scanning at the same time. In case you don't know, for a couple of months ago, I started a new channel. It's called Cosmic Curiosity. And the channel is doing what this channel was originally supposed to be, which was more space and science type videos. Um, so if you are interested in more real life space, not necessarily, um, no, not, not computer games, but like real life science where we talk about I used to post a video on by like on why the northern lights are like, or why is that green? What chemicals in the atmosphere, what processes is causing that green light? Um I have videos talking about uh, black holes and I have a series where the second video hopefully should be out. At least it's recorded, so it shouldn't be too long before it's out. Called Cosmology Corner. Where you guys send in questions. 
Ooh, look at that. Ringed one. Uh, you guys send in questions, and then I, I answer your questions about space and astronomy and those kind of things. But there's also going to be some astrophotography videos with, like, guides and how-tos on, on how to do that. Oh, there's the water world. Um, and there's going to be gear review of, uh, like, various telescopes and uh, star tracking camera mounts and, and those kind of things. There's going to be a lot of cool stuff going on over there. So if you are interested in those kind of videos as well, they're going to be posted over on Cosmic Curiosity. Um, I'm pretty sure you can find a link in chat. Otherwise, you can just YouTube Cosmic Curiosity and then it, uh, it should pop up. This looks like a slightly more boring system than the last one. Oh, geologicals there. Another gas giant. Oh, wow. With all the zoom levels. Look at that. Absolute mess. Oh, there's more. It just keeps going. Jesus, how many moons does this planet have? System scan complete. I think the answer is all of them. It must have Raxler then. Where's my system map? There we go. Let's look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, there could be a Raxler here. Are you Raxler? Raxler, 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 Raxler. No. Okay. Just gonna check the planets, see if there's anything here that's terraformable. Those two could be pretty. There's a terraformable one. And there's the water world. So we have one terraformable and a water world. Remember the days when we could mount sort of planet? That, oh yeah, those were the days. I miss. I miss that. Where you could just hover your mouse over a planet and you would get it. You didn't have to go and click them, and the clicking is not really that. Nah. Let's go and have a look at this from the day side. It's actually a pretty, pretty neat looking planet. Did this one have an atmosphere? Oh, it did. Did have an atmosphere. Look at that. Is that clouds? Or is this the surface that looks like that? I don't know. Let's get this thing mapped. I might actually have to go a little closer to this one. Is 
Is it some kind of mod stars are so bright? No, we're just out in the middle of nowhere, but close to the core of the galaxy. So there's just so many stars here. Jesus, I'm 1% off. Really? Oh, hold on, I actually do have... Okay, I'm gonna play it safe. there there we go come on Scan complete. And we even got the efficiency bonus. Nice. Oh, were there any? That's, oops, that's not what I wanted. There's no life on this planet. But I still kind of want to... Was it, was it even landable? No, it wasn't. So of course there's no life on it. That's why I thought it was landable. Like, I have to go down and look at that, but makes sense it wasn't. There's no life on this planet, yeah. Do I think those huge permit lock regions scattered around the Milky Way were. are where. The portals will be once we find Raxler. Mm. No, I think those regions are permit locked just because Frontier wanted to make sure they had an area of space in case they needed it. I don't think they necessarily have plans with those regions. I think they've just permit locked some sections to ensure that they had some areas of space where they could go out. Uh, Go ahead and, and, and test things. Been away from the game for quite a while. What is Raxla? Raxla is like this mysterious rumored planet that should exist somewhere in the game. That's been part of the elite laws since the original game, I think, or at least since very, very early on in the game's history. Um, and is this like, yeah, okay, go, go to, go to the code. Basically, that's a lot easier. Go to the codex. And then go to uh, knowledge base, and there's a whole section here on 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 whole article here on Raxler, what it is, and and that kind of thing. You can go and you can go and listen to that if you are interested. And then promise me one thing: don't waste your life looking for Raxler. I have seen so many people who have just spent, I don't know, countless hours chasing around the galaxy because they think they have some clue and then it all it always turns out to be nothing. It, yeah, Atlantis. I think the best way to describe it is Atlantis. I mean, they claim it is in the game. That's what's been said at least.
Is that just the light or is that planet just very, very blue? I mean, it's a water world, but... Okay, it must just have been the light on that side of the planet. Let's approach there, 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 there. Oh, nope. There. There. I mean, if, if I happen to stumble across a planet that is called Raxler, I'll probably go and take a look, just, you know, out of curiosity, but it's like that unlikely. Go. System done. Target next system. Let's go. Going now. Four, three, two. Is any bodies of waters in Star Citizen? If so, what happens when you land on it? Uh, yes, there is. And I'm actually not sure. I think your ship just floats. Which kind of makes sense. They are mostly just. Like a ship, but with a top, right? They're full of air, so they kind of make sense they float. Fuel scooping. Fuel scoop disengaged. Twenty two. Oh, look at that. Hold on a second. There's at least two there. I think we have at least two Earth like planets in this system, guys. Either that is a one massive planet, or that is at least two planets. First discover. First to discover. Here we go. I'm just going to get some distance from the star, as always. Oh, binary. Oh, please let it be binary Earth likes. Oh my god. I would be happy if I got binary Earth likes. Let's go. Come on. We need a. We have a system we need to scan. Uh, so much stuff in here. Um, okay. Binary. We have binary stars at least. So hopefully it's not too far away. But let's see if we can begin to actually get some signals here. Oh, we have B and C stars as well. Oh, this is going to be fun. We would have some real distance on our hands here, but for Earth likes, I'm gonna I'm gonna go that distance. S single gas giant in the system. What are we away here? Sixty-two thousand. Oh, just gonna check geologicals. And there's more in there. Oh, up there. Okay. Something over here. Ice body. There's one of them. That is an Earth like indeed. There's the second Earth-like. And this one has some kind of moon, it seems. Cute little moon. Biologicals on that one.
everything is out around this star, it seems. My god. And then we just have all the asteroid clusters in here. Oh, there's one thing else. What is what's, what's that? It's in a blank area. Probably okay. It was a high metal content. Okay, let's take a look at the map. See what we got here. One Earth like, two Earth likes. I'm just gonna begin moving down in this direction because we have quite a bit of distance we need to cover. So I'm just gonna lock that in at 100% and start moving while we explore the system here in the map. Let's see what we got. If we're gonna see, if we're gonna see the, um, any. Terraformables, they're gonna be out close to the Earth likes, I think. There we go, as I said, close to the Earth likes, there's a terraformable there. I've gotta go out. Look at that, that's a tiny, tiny gas. Giant? How big is that? It's twice the size of the Earth. That's a very small gas giant. That is the littlest gas giant. Gas dwarf. Yeah. We gotta go out and take a look at those. We're just gonna... Hold on. Let's just... Check it in here. We had a system. Where's the B star? A plus, no, C star, of course. Going out here. We have the, uh, one of the Earth likes. Second Earth likes. And then this, whatever that's going on out here. Okay. There looks like there is some distance. You can see here we have the gas or the uh, the. It's so weird. Here we have the 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 ice planet with the rings, but it's not the gas giant that has the rings. Uh. Oh, actually, hold on. While we're at it, how big was that gas? How, how big was that ice planet? Because it. Yeah, okay, it's a slightly smaller. That is a little, little, little. Tiny, tiny little gas giant. <laughs> That's so cute. A Jovian gas giant. Mm, yeah. Hey. <laughs> tap, tap. Cute little, uh, little, 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 little planet. Gas dwarf, yeah. yeah Earth likes are pretty rare, and two Earth likes in one system is very rare. What is the newest ship? Uh.
Is that the fans? Is that really the newest? Mamba? Maybe the Mamba, yeah. What is the gong on the UF statistics? What's the smallest gas giant has ever been found? Dice wise. Does EDSM keep statistics on that? Yeah, I think I think the newest ship is the Mamba. But Jesus, the Mambas, it's been years since we got the Mamba. Um, yeah, I'm the first in system. It uh, they are undiscovered. See, no one discovered them. There are many Earth likes like it, but this one is mine. Three years ago, it was really three years ago since we had a new ship in Elite. I mean, I specifically, people want to this, another rich system, as long as you don't mind the commute, I specifically set my route to optimize my route for finding water wells and earth likes and ammonia wells. Um, that was very specifically what I was looking for today. So, I think I had a pretty good hit record. I, it's haven't been half the systems, but we had a lot of them. Um, not with, with not a lot of time in between, so yeah. Yeah, Woodsman, I am the first to discover these. No one has been here before. This is my system. Yeah, true. Don't count fleet carriers. Don't count fleet carriers as a new ship. According to EDSM, the smallest class one gas giant. But this is, is this a class one? Hold on. Slow ourselves down a little bit. What class is this? But can we agree that this is then smaller? Is this really the smallest class one gas giant ever, dis ever discovered as well? It can't be. Smallest is eight eight thousand. Okay, that that's more reasonable. Yeah. Okay, good. So the smallest gas giant is around eight thousand. Fair enough. I was also thinking it can't be that I get two Earth likes, a terraformable high metal content, and the smallest gas giant in the game in one system. That would be too much. <laughs> ah, the spacing got messed up. Fair enough. Slow down. 
There's a lot of land mass on this for Waterworld, I think. Where is it? There it is. Missed it. Come on. There we go. Perfect. Next stop is Earth like number one. I just, I can't, I can't remember the engineer of this ship. I can't remember. No, it's not into the, the detailed service scanner. Yeah, but again, I don't want to waste the time. Oh, not waste. I don't want to spend the time unlocking engineers and collecting materials on this character. So, and again, it's been a, I don't know, a month, two months since I've been in a station. So it's not like I've got to go anywhere. Dunkle is really, is really putting up a fight against the bot today. Is there any news about the Distant World 3 expedition? Uh, I haven't heard anything. Who's been looking to find the biggest sun? Hmm. Oh, good luck. Hope you find it. I don't know what's going on with Distance World. Look at that. So pretty. Earth-like. Yeah, did they hold it all the way to console release? That might be right. That they didn't want to do it before before it came out on console, which could be a while, unfortunately. them in one system yet yeah, it's a rare find it's a nice find have i ever played space engine and if so what's your opinion yeah i uh, i actually do 
uh, well, made or played. It's it's more of a well, it's it's an engine. So, so, but I have I have played around with it. It's pretty fun. Big ice caps on this one. Oh, let's just go and do that one. A little close this time. Oh, this is a seven probe, so we're gonna do the same, same thing again. I'm just gonna play it safe and um, and move around the planet until we see something where we can scan. There is some. Chief, thanks a lot for the super chat again. What filter do you use to fight Earth-like and water worlds? I only go to G and F type styles. But yeah, you're right, Dunkle. That is a good looking planet. That is pretty. Yeah, the ice caps are huge. There's a lot of ice on this one. I think also this was the one with the average temperature around freezing. So it is a, a, a pretty cold one too, as Earth likes go. Um, we had one more stop in the system. It was that little tiny, tiny gas giant up there. Well, while we're there, we're also gonna go and take a look at the ringed ice world, just because. Good skiing, yeah. Is the planet tightly locked? Um, that's a good question. Let's go and check. Seems like they both are. Mm. No. Are they spinning?
Does that trick still work, or did they fix that? It just doesn't work anymore. Uh, yes, it results of Fleet Carrot does update. Renee, you're very welcome. Okay, I'm gonna overshoot. So there we have the... Do a quick flyby here. That should be the ringed planet. Whee! That's a very tiny ring. And then there out there we have the little gas giant. We're just gonna go and uh, take a quick look at the gas giant. Then we're gonna go take a look at the ring planet. shoot again look at this little thing oh so cute Twice the size of the Earth. Cute little thing. Well, it still have the gravity well, that's for sure. Which, but I think we already reached the light goal. The discount code are, is bad Norwegian. <laughs> oh, it has just a very, very thin... Look at that, the rings are actually relatively normal size they're just very very thin can you see the rings are there but it's just this very very distinct band and why is that because it probably has a single moon no because of that So probably because it lines up with the orbit time of that planet. Because they're orbiting each other. Yeah, that would make sense. That would make sense. Oh, hello. Rebuy Joe is raiding. 
Welcome, guys. We're just looking at a very interesting system here. And what I'm what I'm pondering right now is that we found this planet here with a very distinct ring. Now, I don't know if you guys know why planets rings have bands in them. Why are they not just even in, in density? Why do we have these distinct bands? Now, the distinct bands is often caused by the moons so if you have get an example let's say we have a planet i know this is the moon but let's say this is a planet and around that planet there is a moon okay so planet it has rings imagine rings around this planet and here you have moon and moon goes around the planet like this and that moon would obviously have an orbit time and that moon will then try to pull the rocks in the rings into orbits in such a way that the when the moon goes around once, the asteroid goes around twice. So, so you end up with with basically the it's actually quite quite clever. The pattern in the rings around the planet is basically a four-e transform of the orbits of the moon. Which is super cool if you're into nerdy stuff like that. But I think it's super cool that you have a natural four-year transformation of moon orbits displayed in, 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 in nature like that. How cool is that? But, so what I was sitting here pondering is why does this ring then have this one very distinct ring and then this just a very thin area? And the reason why, of course, is... That was why I first thought, oh, maybe this planet has one moon and one moon only, because that would explain why all the rocks were just pulled in to one uh, one band. But it, it doesn't have any moons. So what is pulling the rocks in is, of course, the orbit of that gas giant. And it, before you ask and, and is wondering, um, does Elite even model these kind? Oh, let me actually put you back in game so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, so when you have that that planet with that with that one very very distinct ring, that probably means there must be only one moon. But in this case, as I said, this it's not a moon. It's a tiny gas giant, and that is why because it's so heavy, that's why it is be able to pull it in. And and if you're if you're wondering. If, front, if Frontier is actually modeling these kinds of things in the planet rings, yes, to a degree, they are not necessarily 100% accurate to what they should be, but they are somewhat close. Um, I did manage to ask and talk to uh, Dr. K. Ross about it before she left Frontier. Um, so 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 they do do something that that the bands in the planets are somewhat some somewhat representing the orbits of the moons around it which i think is pretty cool again it's not 100 percent correct but they are getting relatively close um i think that's cool and if you think stuff like that is cool you should go and check out cosmic curiosity which is my second channel where I talk a lot more about space and astronomy and those kind of things. So you can head over to Cosmic Curiosity. Um, and if you like, yeah, space and astronomy type videos for more real life stuff, then um, then that's over there. And there will also be astrophotography and gear reviews and those kind of things happening over there. My math is not so good. Yeah, it's basically like a resonance thing. You can imagine that the planets orbit at, at a frequency and then the, the asteroids will either try to orbit at a frequency that is twice that or three times or four times that, if that makes sense. Accurate enough for a video game. Exactly. It doesn't have to, it's not a simulation, but it's it's accurate enough for a video game that even space nerds like me can kind of get a kick out of it. Um, D4... Do5, thanks a lot. He said he's subbed. So uh, awesome, dude. But I just want to go because I think those rings, they can't be very thick. So what I want to try is I want to try to go here to the outer edge of the ring. 
of the of the white part of the ring at least. Bit of a bit of a render bug there, it seems. <laughs> it's so accurate that I should get eight hundred thousand more subs. I I I agree. Wouldn't wouldn't mind eight hundred thousand subs, but are you near the bubble? No. Not even close. Could I imagine playing Elite if I wasn't a huge space nerd? I probably wouldn't have stayed in the game for as long as I did. What is going on? Four, three, two, one, engage. Let's try to dive into the more dense areas. Yeah, there's definitely some bugs going on here because look how when I go into the ring, it only renders the rocks in a very, very tiny patch around me. Look at this. Uh, let's get some more speed out of this. You see how only a tiny patch around me has been rendered in. That's not how it's supposed to be, so we can't really see the rings as we are supposed to. That area is supposed to be a lot bigger. I mean, you won't notice it when you go into the ring, but it's supposed to be bigger, even up here. Have I just, like, put down my render distance or something, doing a graphics reset or something? Field of view, on foot field of view. Model draw distance, yoink. Yeah, I, I, I think, I think render bug, I think it's the level of detail scaling that's wrong. Because what they probably do is they have the rocks that we see here is probably the highest level of detail. And then further out, they would have rocks that should spawn with a lower level of detail. So that they don't have, I mean, they're lower resolution, basically, the rocks. Fewer polygons, and they are just not spawning in the lower resolution ones. I think that's what's going on. But I'm just going to see if, if changing that render distance did anything. Ready to engage. And crash into the ring. No, same thing. Still render box. You can see the edge there. They just have those generic fill rocks around it. Drive we gotta do a, a, a little jump very close to a planet Ready here. That <laughs> should be fun. Probably target the next system here. Frame shift drive charging. Oh, oh. Hold on. Ready to engage. Okay, 
Let's try this. See if we can lock it in before we crash into the ring. What's my preferred exploration ship and why? Um, I think I, li I like, really like the Phantom. Um, but I think if I had to go from the bubble in my main... Uh, if I have to go and rebuild a ship, I would probably do the Dolphin. Because I I love the Dolphin. It's a, it's a good little boat. I've really been enjoying flying the Dolphin. Ooh, 47. But nothing to scan. Nothing of interest here. <laughs> we managed to make it se se eight jumps today so far. <laughs> eight jumps in, uh, in in three hours. And you know, yeah, it doesn't overheat. It's, it's just a nice ship. And it's small. It's easy to land. Are you on the latest NVIDIA drivers? Yes. And have you enabled DSRDL? I have not actively done it. Not really sure. Is that, is that the new DSLR thing? Yeah, but not not now <laughs> doing a live stream. I don't think I'm going to update my graphics settings for the graphics card doing a live stream. That's probably going to end terribly wrong. Nothing there. Nothing on. So, some people ask in chat how I know exactly if, if there's anything in the system just from the... Because I've learned this, this the spectrogram at the bottom, and I know where I want signals in order for it to be interesting and fun things. I have a video that should be out tomorrow about it, where I go... It's like a... I think it's like 16... It's a quite long video, like 16 minutes or something, where I basically share all the tips and tricks about exploration that, uh, that I have. So it's going to be like a relatively comprehensive exploration guide for anybody who want to go out into the black. I should get some fuel. <laughs> I'm really low. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What do we... Well, hold, hold on a second. That could be a Earth-like. Could also be a rocky ice world. That is an Earth-like for sure. That is the water world for sure. So we have at least one Earth-like, potentially two, and two water worlds as well. <laughs> okay. I guess we do one more system then. Just gonna get some more fuel. Okay, in fairness, the, the second job took an hour and 45 minutes. Okay, okay. The fair point. But, yeah. Looks like we're gonna be here for a while. Ah, uh, it's all, only midnight. I have work tomorrow, and I haven't uploaded tomorrow's video either, so I have to do that. And I need to go over the other character and move my fleet carrier. I don't need to sleep anyway. Okay. Let's get scanning. Okay, so that is that. That wasn't a rocky ice world. So there's only one. Hold on, there's two signals there. It's another signal. That's probably also a rocky ice world. So there's 
only only one earth like in two water wells there's the water wells one of them at least There's a few things that could be down in the high metal content area. So that could potentially also be terraformable high metal content. There's one at least. I'm not sure if it's terraformable, but it's at least it's a high metal content. And there's a Rocky. With one bio. That's the Earth Mike. What is that? My fourth Earth like today? Only third, I can't remember. Two biologicals. Um, I am GMT plus one. People asking about my time zone. There's the water world. And there's that rocky ice. System scan complete. And there's another high metal content. Okay. System scan is done. Let's check out what we got. Everything. Every single planet in this solar system has an atmosphere. <laughs> okay. Uh, stupid game. There's one candidate for terraforming. Oh, well, this is a terraformable water world even, so they're super valuable. And then there's the Earth, like. And then there's another water world, which is not a candidate for terraforming. And then we get out to the ice planets out here. So we have terraformable we need to do, and then basically we need to take those four planets. Start from the beginning. Let's go. What is my what is my thought on the lady who created the elite universe and left frontier so we're talking about uh, dr k ross um she's done a, an amazing job building the stella forge um and her uh, her leaving frontier is a big loss for frontier do not underestimate that i know she's been part of the planet generation for Odyssey. And I know there's been all these tiling patterns in it. That it has some uh, some problems there. And I find it really, really hard to understand. Because it doesn't seem like... I mean, when she goes into the... When she's got into the level of details with the, with the planet rings. And making sure that they kind of match the orbits. When she used to go into that level of detail... And then all of a sudden we get planet generations where it's like piling. I don't know what what's I don't know what went wrong. Um, I don't know. Maybe maybe it wasn't her who, who who did it. Maybe she was just asked to be like a scientific advisor. I don't know what happened. But generally, I really like the work she's been doing. Surface scanned by fifty percent. 
Maybe her work were done. Was were done. That could be it. Yeah. Surface scan complete. Why do we have to move my fleet carrier? Because I'm moving out to uh, for uh, for a video. I need to 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 move it around. So there's a bit of bit of moving around at the moment. Did I start on the wrong planet? No, I didn't. Terraform for Waterworld? Here we come. I mean, she had been a frontier for quite some years now, so... What star types have most... have more probability of Earth-like worlds, in your opinion? G and F types. Exactly. When the universe gives you gifts, you take them. When the universe spawns Earth likes, you you take the Earth likes, and then you are a happy explorer. Uh, we made a ten jumps today, so um, ten jumps in four or three hours, with around eighty to go. <laughs> That's only another twenty-four hours of flying. With some infected flying, we could make that in like an hour and a half if we really just like beelined it. But again, that's not the point. The point for me of exploring is not to make it to the destination quickly. It's to make it there eventually. <laughs> 10 jumps in 3 hours is better than getting stuck in a hole for an hour yeah I guess you're right I have done that spent an hour trying to drive an SLV out of a hole in the ground I did get out though I did manage to get it out How far from the starting area around the galactic map? I am about, I think, 20, probably like around 26, 27,000 uh, light years. Whole extra uh, that was uh, some months back now. Um, there's a video, I think, a, like a highlight clip up on YouTube of it. Do you ever get bored of the crate and sw and switch ships? It's not like they have the option. <laughs> I'm on my I'm on my exploration alt. I don't have a fleet carrier, and I'm a, I don't know how far away from the nearest station. So I don't really have a choice. I'm I'm in the crate phantom now and that's the ship I've gotta be flying for months on this carriage. What does that look like on the collect uh, on the map? Uh hold on. That's just not that one. That one. Looks like that. Can I actually go in and measure how far we are from the bubble? Let's pick random system in the bubble. There's soul actually. That wasn't soul, but doesn't matter. Okay, we're only 22 actually. It's not, I must have moved a little closer because I've started out. Yeah, okay, I moved a little closer. I was out in Colonia. Then I'm moving a cross over here now. Here. 
Um, <laughs> watch your YouTube videos a lot. Curious. Is this game running Odyssey better now? Yes. Um, I w we were on a, at the way at the beginning of the stream. We were on a uh, we were on a on a planet with an atmosphere, and we were standing on, on some ice caps and, and looking over, uh, looking at the stars, or the the, the sun through uh, or the star the, the the local star with an atmosphere, and I was pushing around a hundred and eighty frames a second on this computer which has a 2080 Ti in it. Anyone playing VR? So, I, I, I did, I used to play a little bit VR from time to time, not doing recordings or live streams because it makes for terrible video. At least for me, because I move my head a lot when I talk, and people get nauseous. So I prefer not to scream in uh, um, in VR. But I stopped playing VR altogether after Odyssey because support for it was just. They basically they didn't drop support. It still kind of worked. You could still use it, but it was just like a. Whenever you went on foot, it would just be a, a, a static screen on your VR headset and not really a VR experience. Um, and it's a thing that, like, Frontier's done over the time. They, they've slowly been dropping VR support, it seems. So, yeah. Not sure I'm gonna get that. Oh, I did. Nice. Okay, that was the Earth-like, and the next one is another water world. Let's go to that one too. I'm actually been having. I know we're in space now, so it's not really representative of the Odyssey experience, but. My FPS in space, when we tested it out earlier, I was up at the 220 frames per second, and on the surface I was able to pull, um, to pull 120-ish as well. So, we'll have to try stations. Station was by far one of the, the, the worst one in the beginning, and especially conflict zones were where they still had issues, but I have to go back and try these. In the wrong direction here. And there's a lot of players who were playing pretty much VR exclusively. And it must be a bit of a blow for them where with Odyssey having so poor Poor performance in VR. I'm not going to disclose the puzzle, the solution to the Thargoid puzzle map. What do I mean the puzzle map? Oh, the one in the Thargoid bases? If they ever going to disclose that. Usually Frontier don't disclose these things. If, if the community don't solve it, well, then it's just an unsolved mystery. Load fix, hello and welcome. down a little bit here. Viper, hello and welcome as well. Let's 
Okay, let's go ahead and uh, let's get this thing mapped. Yeah, seven, that should be fine. Crash into the planet in a second. I'm not careful. Surface scan complete. Here we go. I believe that is system done. Yeah, because now we get into uh, to ice planet territory. I kind of want to go out and take a look at this little rocky thing because I believe that was the one that had some biologicals on it. Um, so just in case there's anything fun there, that's, if it's just bacteria, I'm just not gonna bother, but if there's anything else, I mean, we might go down and take a look. Also, just so we can, uh, I'm gonna put up my FPS counter here on the, up in the corner, um, so you can see. I have the game locked to maximum 120 frames per second, so it should never go over 120. Um, but as long as it sits up in like 190, 180, that kind of area. And whatever happens to those icy looking plants that Frontier showed a while back, yeah, they kind of disappeared. Um, I think they mentioned it during the Odyssey, the original Odyssey launch, saying that, oh, those are going to come later. Um, but they never did. I think maybe they are just somewhere on, on Frontier's, like, to-do list and has just been one of those, you know, push it to later, push it to later, push it to later things. I don't know. I don't know what happened. They looked really good, the renders they had, but they just never showed up in game. Uh, I'm not gonna want to sit and hold that. Let it fly itself. Oh, I still have water. Nice. Um, I, okay. The, before we're gonna see any more planets that we can land on, it's going to be minimum, minimum two years. If if we're ever gonna get more planet types to land on, other than the ones we have now, I don't think it's gonna take less than two years from now. That is the absolute minimum, and that is a very, very optimistic guess. It is likely to be close to three or four, if Frontier is willing to invest that long term into Elite. Which I'm not sure they are. I don't think Elite is about to die. Absolutely not. I mean, we can, you can just look at Frontier's... Frontier, they, they, they are a publicly traded company, so they post all their financials. And you can see how far into the future they are planning to have revenue from Elite. And I believe it's at least the next, is it three three years now or something, that, that there is plans for Elite to, to still have revenue. And after that, who knows what, what plans they have. So they, it's not like Frontier is planning to shut down the game anytime soon. Um, and I also have a hard time seeing them just mothball the game for three years. Because then the game will be dead in six months if they go out and say, yeah, no more updates, what you got is what you got, you will stop playing. Um, so, at least it's not a dying game. I don't think it is. It's an aging game, but it's not dying. But it got a nice, fresh coat of paint with the latest graphic update for Odyssey. Now they just need to actually make it perform. They have, largely, to be honest. It's, it's, it's running quite well. Okay, let's see what we got here. Pretty big for a moon.
Surface scanned by 50%. Surface scan complete. There are two types of biologicals. Bacteria is there. Well, that's not very helpful, is it? Okay, well, let's go and see if we can find ourselves some things. Hold on, let's just quickly check here. I want to be on the daylight. for a good place to put this thing down. Look for overlaps of the signals. Yeah, but I can't do that now. Because I can't swap between the different filters, so I'm I'm not really interesting in in the bacteria stuff. But well, there's some green there. Patches there. We'll see if, it's, if there's anything here. You can keep keeping an eye on the FPS counter up in the corner. Okay, so we got the bacteria stuff here. Oh, there we go. Look at that. The surface is almost shiny. Uh, we're just gonna take the, uh, the SRV with us. Aging like fine wine, you're absolutely right. Whoa, this thing, this planet is not easy to drive on. Look at those! Look how pretty they are! Now you can see FPS drops down, down to around 100 FPS now that we're out on the surface. They're all over the place. They're there. They're all around us. Uh, 
Gonna take the next patch over to be sure we've got enough distance. What? No cowboy hat? No, no cowboy hat. Dennis. Oops. Bit of a rough landing there. See if this one was far enough. Was. Nice. Go and take a one last look at these things before we uh, before we leave. Now that we are here, And that was the entirety of the exploration gameplay. Yeah. Can you hear the sounds? Down to 60 FPS in this area here. When I get close enough to these things. Slow this down a little bit. This is the slowest it will be. I think it's very pretty. I like it. I like it a lot. Can we do like a... Miniature toothpaste, yeah. Some some people call it ice cream, ice cream cones. Minty toothpaste. I don't know what it is, but it's pretty.
frozen flames. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> oh no. Ah, other explorers find cool looking things. Me. Oh, look. There's another vaguely inappropriately looking clam. <laughs> I'm going to crypt says... Playing on Xbox, but I'm thinking of going to swap to PC. Only thing is going to miss my ships, especially my Corvette. Is it worth it? You can. I believe you can open the ticket with Frontier and you can ask them to transfer not your ships, but your credit worth of... of. So if you have credits plus ship worth, let's say a billion, then they will add a billion to your account over on your PC. But then they are also going to strip everything from your... Um, console account so it's not like you just well there's actually look at that there's even a patch in there so you can kind of it's is it just the money not not the ships okay so you have to sell your ships basically no there's no migration between platforms yeah you can basically sell okay so they only they only move the money over so you can sell your ships but rank engineer unlock um, all those kind of things are not moved over. That means you are on a brand new character, but you can have all the money that you made over on the other account. Meaning you can go out s straight away and buy yourself a decent ship, and that should make the unlock process a lot quicker. But you will have to rank up again. You will have to unlock your engineers again. Um, but you can kind of swap over. So overall, is it worth it? Because you also lose all your engineering materials. That doesn't transfer over. It's only credits. So is it really worth it? Mm, not sure. Yeah, it's a good, really good point, Uncle. If if you're gonna buy the, if you're going to buy um, a new and a, a, a PlayStation, sorry, a, a PC account, just find a friend with a fleet carrier. If you don't have one yourself. And just transfer the money over to your new account using a fleet carrier. That way you still keep your Xbox account. You keep all the progress on that account. Your new account will still have to uh, to be leveled up uh, as it is a new account. But you don't lose your old account. Yeah, exactly. I, I, I don't think it's... Unless you, unless you really, really don't want to play on console anymore... I don't think it's worth, worth... I mean, maybe if, if Frontier comes out and say, Odyssey's never going to come on console. If if they go out and they announce that, I don't hope they will, I don't think they will, but if it happens, then I could see a point in swapping over just to give you access to... Um, just to give you access to Odyssey. Once you go PC, you'll never go back. Probably right. Come on, oh, there it is. Okay, I think it's been three and a half hours now. And as I said, I have a number of things I need to do before I go to bed. So I better log off now. It's been... Um, 
it's been a lot of fun. It was a good day today. We found a lot. We didn't make it that far, but we found a lot of really, really fun places to go. And I'm glad we managed to find some plants here towards the end as well. Um, Starlink launch in 45 or 35 minutes. Yeah, you can, but that actually reminds me, before we leave, um, I'm just going to go and find someone we can rate on Twitch because I believe we have a, a decent number of people with us on Twitch today. So we're going to send you guys onwards to the next stream. Um, I just... Again, remember, guys, there is still a discount code up for the merch store. If you go to d2astore.com, you can get some merchandise for the channel. And uh, if you use the discount code BAD Norwegian, because I said earlier I was a bad Norwegian, then um, then you get 10% off, and that code is going to last until the end of the live stream. As, as you can guess here, I am about... Oh, you can hear myself here. Um, I'm about to shut this thing down, so you have a little bit more... Um, you know what? There's another exploration stream here from Woolies. There's another guy here who's out exploring, it seems, at least, um... You know what? We're gonna send you guys over there. Because that seems like a, a good place. A good place to go. We're gonna go and rape that guy. Okay, Raid has started over there. That's going to be it today. Thanks for watching. Do remember to subscribe to the channel if you're watching on YouTube. And if you want more space and science stuff, go and find Cosmic Curiosity, my second channel about space, astronomy, and astrophotography, those kind of things. And finally, also hope to see you guys on Discord. You can find that at discord.d2a.com. That's good for today. Until next time, I'm going to see you guys in space.